How are you feeling? Yeah, okay. Just came up a bit queasy. We should have had some breakfast. Yeah, I wasn't hungry. Well, better get back in. Your mother will be worried. Just a couple more minutes. Oh, the time's getting on. Please. You're having second thoughts, aren't you? Look, Nat, you're about to make the biggest commitment of your life. If you're not 100% sure... I've got to go through with this. You don't have to do anything. If you are having second thoughts, and you're going away last week makes me think you might be, then for God's sake, call it off. I know it'll cause trouble now, but if your heart's not in it, believe me, it'll cause a lot more trouble later. Forget that lot in there. You're the only one who matters. <laughs> Look, Nat, an hour from now, you're going to be married. Now, if that's what you want, then fair enough. But if you don't, then walk away. Remember what's happened to Georgia's marriage? Yeah, Georgia. Where is she when I need her? Okay, Dad. Let's get back in there. We've got a wedding to go to. She'll make a dramatic entrance, do you? Who? Georgia, of course. To stop the wedding. Like Dustin Hoffman. Oh. Sounds like she's missed a chance. But first, I'm required to ask anyone who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. She started. Then she things clock. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. All stand. Nathan Oliver Simpson, will you take Julie Diana Bradley to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Well, I well, should I say, best boy, young Danny Simpson here. Over to you. Thank you, Mr. Bradley. Very moving speech, I'm sure you'll all agree. Looks like most of the guests are moving next door to the bar. <laughs> the cheeky little... <laughs> oh, they make such a lovely couple, don't they? Yes. So well bred. And he's such a gentleman. You know where you are with that sort. Do you think so? Of course. I mean, just look at the way they're ill themselves. Mark my words, young Jew's there. She's got herself a good one. On you two, it's your song. What are you waiting for? Oh, come on, Nat. I haven't finished my pint. Oh, I'll God. take that. Go on. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Come on, Nat, it's on you. I love you too. Go, up, Georgia. Oh, great, she's turned up. <laughs> Best man's enjoying himself. Looks like he's in danger of being suffocated. <laughs> Come on, lads, get up the buffy, fill your boots. Yeah, I'll just finish this. Uh, me too. Uh, I'm still a bit full from this afternoon. Excellent meal. Well, get some of these down you then. Work up an appetite, eh? Oh, it's a lovely buffet. This lunch meat here is delicious. It's uh, mortadella. Mortadella? It's Italian for lunch and meat, love. I didn't know the Italians had a taste in for spam. I'll have to ask it next time down the Aldi. <laughs> oh, I'm made up. Georgia decided to come. Mm, me too. It wouldn't have been the same without her. Oh, I think it's great the way her and Nat are so close. No, it was happening. Even when they were toddlers. You know, it's a funny thing, Susanna, but 
I actually gave birth to them at exactly the same time of day. I'm sorry? Well, nine minutes past 12, 18 months apart. Maybe that explains why they're so close then. Yeah. Must be uh, something in their stars. Hmm? Cool. I'm really pleased for you, Jules. You look after that little brother of mine. I will. Thanks for everything, Georgia. Come on, give the old man a dance. God, have you seen that dance? Are you going to make that one your last one? It's my wedding night. Yeah, well, it's my wedding night too. And we've got a very long night ahead of us. Come on, let's slip away while nobody notices. OK, well, look, one more drink, all right? A night count. <laughs> look, go on. I'll be up in ten minutes. <laughs> promise? Yeah, promise. I'll be waiting. Don't be long. Matt? I thought you'd gone upstairs. You let me go through with that. Why? Matt. Why didn't you turn up earlier? You could have stopped me. That's it now. I've done it. It's too late. There's no turning back. You said it was what you wanted. Not what I want. You. I want you. Stop me. You should have stopped me. I just want to be with you. I know. Well, let's go then. What? You and me, we'll go now. We'll, we'll disappear. We can't. Hey, what are you two doing in here? Was everything all right? Yeah. It's just had one too many, eh? Give us a hand, Dad. We'll take him upstairs. Come on, old son. Let's get you out of here. Lovely jewels. You'll be wondering where you got to. I can make up for lost time. I'm sorry. What? I've left my wallet downstairs in the bar. Oh, Nat. I'll be five minutes. 